If you are looking for some of the very best plug and play tactics for Football Manager 2023, you have come to the right place. Whether you're just a bit short of time or you fancy a complete change in tactical style, here on the channel I will test the tactics so you don't have to. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at a balanced 4-2-4. In today's tactic testing video, I'm going to be checking out the 424 RE Chainsaw 3. Now you can see straight away, it is one of the most popular shapes in Football Manager 2023, the 424. Luckily for us, all of these 424s do have their own little unique stamp on them, some slightly different positions. Let's break them all down. If we start at the back, we are going to have a sweeper keeper who is set to defend. On the left, you have a complete wing back who is set to attack. Two ball playing defenders in the centre of defence. And on the right hand side, a complete wing back set to attack. You're then going to have two Segundo Volante set to a port. On the left hand side, you are going to have an inside forward set to support. On the right hand side, an inside forward set to support. And at the top of the pitch, you will have two advanced forwards, both of them set to attack. So as I said, a popular style of tactic, the 4-2-4. This one comes with a tactical style of the assembler. Its mentality is balanced. Its in possession looks like this. Its in transition looks like this. Its out of possession will look like this. So as said, one of the most popular styles of tactic for Football Manager 2023. For today's video, I'm going to put it through its paces with Brighton, Atalanta and Real Betis. Let's kick things off in the Premier League and look at Brighton and Hove Albion. We can see that they have finished sixth in the Premier League. If we break down their 38 game campaign, it looks like this. 38 played, 17 won, 8 draws, 13 losses. 64 goals scored, 57 goals conceded, a 7 goal difference and 59 points. Now, in a unique season that sees England have 5 teams qualify for the Champions League, with Chelsea and Arsenal in 11th and 12th, Manchester City, Liverpool and Manchester United also qualifying, Brighton only actually finished 9 points off of Manchester United, but looking further up the table, they finished 30 behind league winners, Manchester City. If we go to the profile page, we can see they don't feature in many of the categories. But if we go looking, we can see Alexis McAllister was their top goal scorer with 14 goals. For their average ratings, they didn't have a player inside of the top 20. For assists, they had Danny Welbeck with 9 and also Estupinen with 8. Player of the match awards, Danny Welbeck got 5 clean sheets uh, Sanchez got 13 of those disciplinary issues were not a problem for this tactic nobody in the yellow card section distance covered per 90 minutes we've got Mitoma down at the bottom with 14.55 tackles per 90 minutes Trossard with 3.51 and Gross with 3.42 and in terms of dribbles per 90 minutes they didn't have anybody in that category. So a sixth place finish. Let's go back to the competitions tab. We can see that they were knocked out in the fourth round by Wolves in the FA Cup. And they finished runners up in the Carabao Cup. If we have a little look at that, we can see they lost to Wolves in the final 4-2. So unlucky not to win a competition. And they have qualified for the Europa League. So a solid start for Brighton. Moving on to Atalanta and you can see that we have one of our teams who have qualified for the Champions League. Atalanta managing to finish fourth in Serie A. If we move across and have a look at their 38 game campaign. They played 38. They won 23 games. They drew 9. They lost 6. Scored 69. Conceded 38. Had a 31 goal difference and finished on 78 Points. Now they qualified for the Champions League, they were only three points off of finishing second but they were some distance behind Napoli who went on to win the league. If we have a look at the profile page we can see Muriel got 24 goals, 
In terms of average ratings, he ranked highest as well with a 7.21 average rating. For assists, we have Hatboa with 10. Muriel with 8 Player of the Match awards. In terms of the clean sheets, we have Musso with 13 clean sheets. Disciplinary, this is where it could be let down. 17 yellow cards for Darun, uh, 16 for Toloi. In terms of distance covered per 90 minutes, Zappa Costa with 15.42. Tackles per 90 minutes, they didn't have anybody in that category. And for dribbles per 90 minutes, they had Mailer with 4.39 and Soppy with 3.71. So, fantastic campaign to get themselves into the Champions League. If we look at the rest of the competitions, they played in the Coppa Italia, Coca-Cola, and they won that too. So they beat Roma in the final on penalties after a 1-1 draw. So fantastic to see Atalanta do so well. They have won a cup competition and they have qualified for the Champions League. Moving on to the final team of the tactic test. And we can see we have another team that have qualified for the Champions League. Real Betis managing to get themselves fourth place in the league and qualify for the Champions League. Breaking down their 38 game season then. They played 38 games. They won 22. They drew 11. Lost 5. Scored 93 which was quite impressive because that ties with Real Madrid for most in the league. They conceded 56. At a goal difference of 37 and they finished on 77 points. Now what's amazing about that is they've only finished three points behind Real Madrid who have won the league. And they only finished two points behind Valencia and Barcelona who are in second and third. If we go back to the profile screen we can see that Borca Iglesias got 27 goals. He got a 7.62 average rating. Fakir got 17 assists. Iglesias got eight player of the match awards. For the clean sheets, we can see Claudio Bravo getting 10 clean sheets. In the yellow cards department, no issues with discipline for Betis. Distance covered per 90 minutes, it didn't have anybody in that category. In tackles per 90 minutes, nobody in that category either. And in the dribbles per 90 minutes, they had Miranda with 4.28 and Moreno with 3.91. So, fantastic to see them getting themselves into the Champions League for the next season. But if we go to the competitions tab, we can see that they have also won a domestic cup, albeit a minor one, in the Supercopa de España. Let's start off by looking at that. They beat Real Madrid 1-0 in that game. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey by Barcelona. And they were knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Europa League by Arsenal. So absolutely fantastic that every single team has got to a final or have won a cup. We have two teams qualifying for the Champions League. Absolutely fantastic to see just what these three teams have done with this tactic. Right, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button to help the channel out, I really do appreciate it. Watching the channel grow across the past couple of weeks has been absolutely fantastic. And it's all down to people like yourself who watch the content and then help with the channel before you go don't forget there are other things on the channel we have other tactic testing including non-league we have wonder kids there's let's plays rebuilds tips hints tutorials a little bit of something for everybody right here on the channel but for this one i'm gonna leave it there we thank you for watching i'll see you on another video soon